The babies! Oh my god, Don! <laughs> Is that lovely? Oh my god, she's sniffing his willy! <laughs> They're my babies! They're my babies! Good morning! It's afternoon. Oh. 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 Why is it to tidy up? I have to make even more of a mess. I am just trying to sort through all my things, my products. Hello, happy vlogmas. My name is Jess, this is Sammy Wu. Woo. And What's he doing a wee wee? <laughs> I was gonna chat about me sorting out my hairdress and stuff. But then I realised Now TV keeps taking my money. So I got really mad and I was hunting for a phone number or some type of email address, something, to have a good old rant. And they are so difficult to tell how rubbish they are. <laughs> like, as a company, number one thing should be customer service. They get a zero big fat zero stars for customer service so i sent two emails well one i filled out a complaint form don't know if it's going to get to them is that roxy's friend from last time i don't know oh i have no idea so i haven't even finished sorting out my hair stuff so we'll talk about that later <laughs> we're now at the park with the babies Has she even done a wee wee yet? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I gave her a treat. She, she had two. She had two wee wee. Yes. Um, where were we? We're at the park. We're at the park. That's a true story. Look at that spot. I tried to pop it, but it's not like ready yet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a star on it. One of these stars? Yeah, one of these stars. Go on then, Roxy. Come on. She wants to go and play. So, I thought, vlog about, like, no, right. Let me start this again. I went on YouTube and I was looking at the Vlogmas videos. Lots of people make them very Christmassy. Hence the title Vlogmas. Yeah. I don't put any Christmas shit in mine. I just film my day. Oh, you're just supposed to vlog the period leading up to Christmas. But like with Christmassy stuff involved, I'm guessing. Mm, well, which optional. I don't really do. I haven't even got Christmas earrings in. I haven't got my Christmas clip in. I just got no Christmas vibes today. The other thing I was going to mention is that I was going to do this video as just a reading vlog for Ready Player One. No, Ready Player Two so that I can read a good chunk of the book. Yet, my day has just not gone to plan at all. Not gone to plan, not in the slightest, doing what I wanted. Just do a reading vlog, a bit of Animal Crossing today, keep it really chill, and then I got mad, and I had to do some washing up, that was fine, got that done. The other news I have, very exciting i'm getting my color done on friday just fell in a fucking puddle didn't i oh i wish i filmed it <laughs> <sighs> cannot wait i'm so excited to get my color done <laughs> i also planned on washing the car today but because of the now tv stresses i will do that tomorrow <laughs> or tuesday I do want to wash my car though because I'm not happy with the state is in. Don't jump on me. Not happy with that. Sam wants to watch Mulan when we get home. While she does that, I'm going to carry on with Jesstopia. I think I'm um, doing some, some changes. <sighs> Sam's filming some, some atmospheric shots. That's very atmospheric. 
Hey! Oopsie! That was me honest. Do you want to give the doggos some treatos? You got some in your pock? Oh, ooh, mud. Oh my gosh, this is really yucky. I didn't even wear my Wellington boots. Ew, ew, ew. I will check in when we get home because Sam wants to talk to the people and she let me go first. I probably got in the way of all her plans. <sighs> what a day. What a day. It's Sunday because I haven't mentioned that yet either. Sunday. Vlogmas number three. Check in later. We got some doggos, socks. I'm still a bit snotty from being all cold outside. From being all cold. From being all cold. I still have some Effinage products <laughs> left <laughs> um, that I was buying because it's what I knew. However, I am going to switch over products. Um, most mostly, I'm actually going to use Pulp Riot these ones. I'm going to get the Pulp Prior bleach next as well when I run out of the Ethnage bleach. What did you do? She spilled. She spilled. So mostly Pulp Prior, some NXT. However, I'm not finding this very good. So I don't know if I'm going to be purchasing this again. I will be using the tints of Pulp Prior as well as don't be a dick. <laughs> as well as the temporary ones. Sam's a dick. And do you know what? I was thinking earlier that I need to mention if anyone stumbles across my videos and they're not subscribed to Sam, then they should because she's amazing. And there she is like ding, ding, ding. And lots of bum action. <laughs> I can't even twerk. No, man. you can. It's really difficult. I, it's, I need two hands for this. No. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. I've also <laughs> bought the Osmo semi-permanent colour. Just one of these, but they do conditioners that go with these. So if I have anyone that wants the colour from the Osmo range, at least I can then sell them the conditioner to keep it topped up. Crazy colour. This one was gifted to me after somebody bought a load and didn't want them. I will be almost reselling or re-gifting to someone else that is going to have blue on their hair next week. So I'll just pop that in there. So Sarah's going to be doing my hair, who was my manager at Barbara Brown's when I worked there back in 2011. Um, we've stayed in touch and she's going to be the one doing my hair. I am super duper excited. I cannot wait to be back, Ginger. Cannot wait. So I'll talk to her about things that are going on and get her perspective. friends it has been a minute because it is the following day ignore the spot that's turned into a mountain it's huge i've been putting the star things on them you'll probably see one on there again later because they have been helping massively i did put one on this one and it did feel better but it doesn't look any better it doesn't help that 
I scratch them. So I'm in a different room because it's so dark today this is the only place I could find some decent lighting. So ignore the the blah, blah, blah. ignore the horrendous spot love the flamingo christmas earrings the christmas bow and the christmas top santa paul's so cute so we're festive right now we're super duper festive i've got my coffee and i've got an update so this is Ready Player One. I take the dust cover off when I'm reading it because it just slides around too much and it really bugs me. So the dust cover will go back on once I've finished. I am just over halfway. So I'm on page 202. So this bit, I have read all of this and this is what I've got left to read. I've been looking at the reviews and every time I check them it seems that the rating the average kind of rating for this book keeps going down and I'm over halfway I am really enjoying this book if you have read Ready Player One and loved it then I, I don't see why you wouldn't love this I am really confused I know Ready Player One didn't need a sequel but I'm so glad it has one. So Ready Player One is set in the future where a lot of people live in this um, in this virtual reality. No, that's not the way to word it. You put a like visor and some gear on and you enter the Oasis, which is basically a computer system where you can build your own world you can learn you can create it's got absolutely everything on there you watch videos the internet has become something you enter as whatever being you create there are worlds for games there are worlds for movies there's everything in this system called the oasis the creator dies and the bulk of what well, the the main story is characters trying to find hidden easter eggs in the oasis because the winner at the end who gets there first will win his his fortune his home his millions his powers his control over the oasis so that's the main plot for ready player one this is the sequel. Ready Player One was out a good few years ago, so it has taken a while to bring out Ready Player Two. Ready Player Two, I don't know how much of the story I should give away because I didn't read what it was about on purpose. I love sometimes going in a story, especially a sequel, not knowing what's gonna happen. Someone said in their review that Wade, our main character, is unrecognisable in this book. However, you've got to think, a teenage boy has just won the most powerful system in the whole world. He's became the richest person ever. He's got the most power, the most security, the most money. He owns everything. So that power will get to you one way or another. His friends have all carried it on with their lives. He has nobody. He has absolutely no family. He's got a total of two friends. He's so alone and he's got all this wealth that of course is going to go to your head. So to start with, he is quite different and quite rude, quite arrogant. And that's going to happen to you. That does happen. When you win such a big fortune coming from nothing, it's going to change you as a person. And as you carry on reading, you do see more of the older Wade and things like that. There is a point where I actually felt scared in this book. And I didn't get that from the first one. The first one just excited me non-stop. So far, I don't know how things are going to change, but so far this is still a five star to me. I am genuinely loving the book. I will check in later, let you know how I get on. I would have read more yesterday. However, yesterday nothing went to plan. Nothing. So when it got to the evening, Sam and I watched Mulan and I went on Animal Crossing. 
So Animal Crossing is the cutest little game where you build your own island, you have villagers that move in. However, over time, the villagers will ask you to leave. And you can either say, no, don't go, please stay, and they will stay. Or you say, bye-bye, and off they go, and you can find someone else to move into your island. So I was on Animal Crossing, I went on this website called Nookers On, and someone was getting rid of the cutest duck villager ever. Her name is Molly. She is so, so adorable. And I was like, no, I have to have her. So I messaged them and I was like, oh, do you want to trade? What are you looking for? I would love to have this villager. So we agreed on something and it was so much less than I expected. When you go on Nookers On, you see people get things like bells is money in the game. And it's millions of bells people ask for villagers. However, this person, lovely, that barely cost me anything from my game. A couple of Nook Mars tickets, that's it. So I threw in a little gift for them. It took me hours to get one of my villagers to leave that I wanted gone. I only had two villagers left that I didn't want in the game anymore. So I've got three bears that I absolutely love, two octopus and the rest of the duckies, apart from a cow called Stew, a blue cow called Stew. He's cool, don't want him. Um, and Freya, which is a pink fox. So those were the two that I really wanted gone to replace with ducks. It took me hours and eventually Freya wanted to leave I bid her farewell and I moved Molly in and oh my god I couldn't believe how long it took. I was watching The Walking Dead after Mulan because I just wanted to keep watching something while I was time skipping here, time skipping there, which I didn't want to do anymore but I had to have Molly. I had to have Molly. So for the rest of the evening I didn't even pick up the book at all. Hello? I was creeping. I heard the floor. Why are you here? I need decent light in. My ankle hurts. You're not dressed. I'm half dressed, thank you very much. They can't see my pyjamas. Baby girl! So. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh my God. God. Hello. That was a little moan. Isn't he a cutie patootie? <laughs> so, I now have only one villager I don't want on my island. Just one. But that's going to be harder to get rid of him. Why? Because it's most likely all the others are asked to leave. You'll be like that, fam. Oi! Get off! <laughs> so, I can't believe it took me hours to get Molly on my island. Who's Molly? My new resident. Is it a duck? Yeah, she's the most adorable duck you will ever see. Is she the pink one that was at my no. campsite? That's like, her name's like Marina or something. Can't be Marina. Marina's the octopus. It's something like that though. Yeah. It's similar. It's very similar. Get out of here. It's not your room. It's not your room. What the fuck is that? <laughs> God's sake. I was reading my book this morning and I felt my eyes getting heavier and I thought I think I might fall asleep. Went upstairs, led down, I was gone. I really shattered today. Went back to sleep, didn't I? I was going to aim to get close to finishing this today, but I didn't actually want to rush it. So I'm not going to pressure myself, I'm just over halfway. Yeah. It's so good. I mean, the reviews, like, I check them every day. The average for the reviews of this book go down every day. That's crazy. It started at 3.9, it's down to 3.65. I can't believe it. But people are reviewing it without actually having read it. They're just putting zero or one star because they don't want a sequel. What the fuck? That's really dumb. It's really unfair as well, though, like on the author. Can you report it? I don't know. But loads of people have done it. That's so dumb. So far, out of the half I've read, I'm given five star. No, I, I didn't want there to be a sequel. There's a bit that actually scared me. Because, right, there was such high stakes in the first book 
that like I didn't want him to go through that again. He might lose everything. Well, it's more serious than that. Then losing everything. Yeah. Lives are at stake. See, this is why I don't want a sequel. It's too stressful. <laughs> But I wouldn't rate it like one star just because I don't want a sequel. See, the first book I didn't find stressful. I found it just exciting the whole time until like he kept getting knocked back. And then I had to skip ahead to check how it was going to end. I remember that. And then I carried on reading it and that's <laughs> fine. But this one I haven't skipped yet. But this, there was a bit that actually scared me. And I was like, oh my god, I feel the fear. But it's, it's exciting as well because like i trust the author not to ruin it. ruin my life however we will find out i trusted the fucking last of us makers to not ruin my life and look what they did but the first half of that one is actually brilliant anyway the very <laughs> from the very start it was a piece of shit so <laughs> well i apart from that one devastating moment it wasn't Oh, I do want to change my YouTube like banner thing again. Yeah. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> <laughs> Should we take a thumbnail while we're here? Okay, so I think this is the best I can do for an angle for filming this. So as you can see, I've got a new wreath on my door. Christmas wreath. I've completely changed my island layout and it's so not complete. So the first run I did kind of a pink princess themed island, whereas now I'm a little zombie at Justopia. Um, my house is all black on the outside. So when I start off my day on Animal Crossing, the first thing I do is check what post I've got. Usually I've ordered a load of stuff as I'm redoing the house. These I never read because honestly, I don't really care. Whoops, we want to throw that away. Yes, I've ordered a lot of cardboard boxes. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go see what's in the shops and go and see the villagers. So... When you get up to their house, if the curtains are drawn, usually means that they're not actually home. I love him so much, he's so cool. So since it's the Christmas kind of update, everything here is a special Christmas related item and I am buying all of it. So I will be purchasing this one. And in the background you can see that is Stu, who is the cow villager that I will be replacing with a duck villager. Now I already have two of the fans here in my house i don't need this one and i've already got two of those so i don't really need any of that at the moment next we'll check the cabinet see what's in here today if i can get there it's really tricky filming on here I always pick up a lot of the customization kits because I use a lot of them. Now I don't really need any more flooring or wallpaper but I always have a look see what there is. Nothing of interest today. Oh there's another villager. This one of the ducks, Weber. How cute is he? There's my new favourite, Molly. Oh my god, look at her, isn't she the most adorable little thing you've ever seen? Of course I will help you. I love Marina. I 
I absolutely love it that I've got so many villagers. I absolutely adore. And the fact that most of them are either a bear or a duck and then the two little octopus. So cute. That's Stu's house. We know he's already out, but we're not going to go and say hello. Blue Bear lives on the beach and Blue Bear isn't home either. So we will carry on to the Able Sisters and see who else is out along our way. Oh, Stitches is in here. Hey Stitches, what are you doing? I might get some of those boots you know I do need the fitting room you are correct oh cute I've already got some of these items yes they do pink ones absolutely yeah. Yeah. next I just go and check on the rest of my villagers and that is the next step on my little morning journey. Cute. Oh, they love me. I love them. Even though I'm a zombie. Bit weird, but also funny. Right, here we go. So, Judy lives here. It looks like she's home. That's great. We've got to deliver a present to her. Oh, she's also making something, so we might get a recipe. So, cute. so now I've done that what I normally do is carry on with built recreating my island I've got most of my bridges and inclines in places I want them now I still have to make a load of these um, gel bars uh, these ones here that I've created like kind of to use as walls I need more of those so I have to go find some tools to make those myself because there are some things you get a recipe for and some things that you can just buy so first of all we'll just look at my map here we go so these are the villagers i have so you've got quilson so he is definitely staying he's one of my duckies blue bear who i love Joey, he was my original favourite and he's still up there as a favourite but Molly has knocked him off of the number one spot. Judy is a forever, she's got forever home here. Same as Octavian, that's right isn't it? Octavian, yeah. Molly, absolute angel. Marina, forever home. Stu, gonna go. Stitches, possibly forever home. I think Stitches is adorable, so Stitches will pr most likely stay, 90% sure. And Weber is definitely staying, I love my ducks, absolutely, 100% adorable. So it's just Stu that I want to replace with a duck. I am hoping to get Ketchup, which is a red duck. There is also a pink duck, but I don't know, I'm heading more towards the want to have Ketchup on my island, also because I love Ketchup. So then you can see where the bridges and the inclines are and how everything is laid out. I am going to put a few more little water features so that will be marked on the map once I'm done. Next to my house up here, oh, let's get to my house. Up here I am going to put some more land in and maybe another incline. I just haven't finished yet and also the same goes for around the campsite and the museum. So that's it for now i just thought i'd show you my villagers my map layout and i will show you a bit more as i go i hope you enjoyed this little segment and if you did notice yes the date on my switch in the bottom left hand corner is wrong 
I'm going to play it on Sunday for a little bit longer and then I'm going to pop it back into the correct time and date. This was due to me getting Molly to live on my island but now I can go back to the correct date. I thought I'd just play on Sunday for a little bit and then switch back over to Monday. Hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek on my island and I will be sure to film some more. This is Jess Topia and Zombie Jess signing out. We got a Sharon pizza. We never had this one before. And we got some... Jess, get my point of view. We got some little cobs. Hold the cobs as well as everything else. And then we got these little chickeny things, fake chickeny things. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm, they're good. Look at her in her element. Mmm. So cute and so cute. beautifully matched. Um, well, this is a that nugger? That was good. Um, That's a good nug. The, uh, mm. the